Okay, so this is something that really annoys me and probably really annoys you too. Microsoft Edge constantly asking if you want to set it as the default browser. This really gets up my nose. So how do you stop this from popping up once and for all? Well, today we're going to show you. Stick around. All the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this is a real bugbear of me. Is Microsoft Edge keep popping up and asking us if you want to set it as the default browser? Now this guide is going to show you how to quickly and easily stop these messages from coming up for good. So what we need to do is first of all, close down the browser, make sure that it's closed. So click on the cross in the top right hand corner. And best bet is to make sure that you've got no other windows open. Then you want to click on the start button here. Incidentally, this will work in Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, Windows 10, Windows 11, and possibly when it comes out, Windows 12 too. So click on the start button and then just type on your keyboard Reg Edit. And then hopefully after a few seconds under best match, you should see registry editor system. Move your mouse over that and then click on the right hand mouse button. Once you've clicked on the right hand mouse button, you'll get this sub menu come up. Move your mouse over run as administrator and click on the left hand mouse button. The screen may darken and you might get this message saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, make sure that it says registry editor and make sure that the verified publisher is Microsoft Windows. If these are, then move your mouse over. Yes, left click once. Now, what you want to do is you want to click in this box just up the top here. And if there's anything in it like mine, then delete the whole lot out. OK. And once you've got there, then you want to type computer with a capital C. The rest of it is in lowercase and then a backslash. And then when you see this, use your arrow keys on your keyboard to go down to H key local machine and highlight that. But don't push enter. Don't click anything. Put in a backslash and then you want to go down with your arrow keys again to software. Put in a backslash. And then you want to go down to policies. So just keep tapping the uh, the downward arrow on your keyboard until you see policies. There we go. And then type a backslash. And then you want to go down to Microsoft. Again, type a backslash. And then you want to go down to Edge. And then here you can press enter or return on your keyboard. Right now in here, you're looking to see if you've got something that says default browser setting enabled. If you've not got it in there and you probably haven't like I haven't, then just right click anywhere in this white space over here. Then you'll get this sub menu come up and you want to go across and down to D word 32 bit value and click on the left mouse button. You should now have highlighted in blue new value hashtag one type on your keyboard the word default with a capital D and then browser. There's no space browser with a capital B and again no space setting with a capital S and then again no space enabled with a capital E. Now double check this, triple check this, quadruple check this, make sure that you've got this 100% correct because if you haven't it could cause severe problems with your computer. So once you've double checked it, once you've triple checked it, once you've quadruple checked it and you're a hundred percent confident you've typed this correctly, then press enter or return on your keyboard. And then all we need to do is click on the cross in the top right hand corner to close this down. And then if we open up edge again, you will see that that has now gone. It's not asking us if you want to set it as your default browser. 
Now, this doesn't stop you from setting it as a default browser. You can do that if you want. Just click on the start button, click on settings and just type the word default and uh, then click on default apps. And then once you've got your list of apps, scroll down to Microsoft Edge and then click on that. And there you still have the option to set it as the default browser, but it's not going to come up and keep asking you if you want to set it as a default browser at the top of Edge. Now, what if you want to restore this back? Then all you have to do is once again, just close down the browser, click on the start button and then type Reg Edit. And then hopefully after a few seconds under best match, registry, registry editor system should appear. Click on the right mouse button, then you'll get this sub menu come up. Left click run as administrator, click on yes. And then what you want to do is you want to find this key again. Now, hopefully it's still on your screen. If it's not, then you're just going to have to type all that in again up there as you did before. And then all you do is click on default browser setting enabled and then either press the delete key on your keyboard or right click on it and then left click delete and then say yes there and then close the registry editor down by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner and then open up edge again and you should see not right now but at some point it should ask you once again do you want to allow microsoft edge to be your default browser now it's not going to come up straight away but it will come up again in the future so there you go i hope this guide helped and if it did consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or if you can't do that have a look in the description down below i've got links down there to my amazon shop which has got all the things i love on amazon at the moment there's also links down there to vpns fire tv sticks fire tv cubes and fire stick accessories so if you're in the market for any of those please consider using those links buying subscribing and donating really does help support this channel it helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos and whilst you're at my youtube channel why not stick around i've got thousands of other videos for you right here right now covering all sorts of subjects hopefully whilst you're here you you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos whilst you're here that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. Check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. Also check me out on my website. That's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you.